I'm just going to improve this slide a little bit. We've got an image, we might as well put some text on it. Now if we put text on it in the text box here, make that nice and big, probably need to make it bold. It sort of stands out okay because of the color of the background, but if we wanted to add a bit of accent to this, uh, then we can add a text box instead, just a rectangle. Let's pop that in there. Now when you add a, any rectangle, it actually ends up with a border around it. So I'm going to leave the shape fill Let's just make that a different color, make that green. Uh, make the shape outline, you want to be no outline, that gets rid of that border around the box. And you see we've actually put this object over the top of the text, which means we can't see the text. So I'm just going to right click and send that backward. And here comes the text we had a minute ago. Just moving that along a bit, resizing the box to fit. So we've set the image here to a fade in. And we probably want the text to fade in or have some animation too. So this slide, I'm just going to enhance a little bit here. We've got the image coming in and then it disappears in five seconds. So I'm going to add a little bit of animation. So click on the rectangle box first. Uh, the animation I'm going to use is wipe and I'm going to have that wiping from the left. And after that wipe has taken place, I want the text to fade in. Okay, so if we leave that as it is, you can see on the animation pane, when we first created the slide, we had a picture coming in and then automatically fading out. But we want, we don't want the image to fade out until everything else has happened and also that fades out. So I'm just going to set the text box coming in to be after the image comes in and I want the text itself to come in after the previous. So you can see the animation pane shows you the sequence of events going on here. So we need to make sure that we get the picture, then we get the rectangle, then we get the text box, and then the picture itself can fade out. But along with the picture fading out, I'm going to select the rectangle, add an animation to make it fade away. I'm going to select the text, add an animation there again to fade it away. And both of those animations need to be with the previous because the previous one is actually going to be the picture fading out. So let me just change with previous on that one. And now when we run the slideshow here, what will happen is we go from this slide, the image fades in, the text box will fade in, both of those will fade out and then it will move on to the subsequent slide. So because we've added in extra animations and our timings are based on what happens previously, we probably need to add a bit of a delay in to the slide transition. So I'm just going to change the slide transition, give it an extra couple of seconds there to allow all those animations to take place. So let's start from the second slide in the presentation. That will be on the screen for a couple of seconds before that disappears and the autumn leaves picture comes in. The rectangle has a wipe in and the text for the re rectangle follows shortly after with a fade. All three items there fade out before the next slide transition. And then as we've programmed it to loop continuously, that will then go back to the start slide.